Well, on Friday, Arizona dispensaries were able to start selling marijuana for recreational use, leading to these long lines and customers, some of them waiting hours to make their very first purchase. Well, there's an ongoing mad dash to pot shops with recreational weed now legal here in Arizona. So this huge boom has cultivation companies changing the way they operate to try and meet the immediate demand. Brianna Whitney explains. This is their mini cultivation room here in Tempe. You can see they have about 54 plants here. They said in about a week they'll get ready to cut all of these, send them to their other facility in Chino Valley, and then get them ready for packaging to resell here. They say sales are sky high right now, and they're expecting to do about five times more production this year because recreational marijuana is now legal in Arizona. From seed to sell to smoke. The patients and uh, customers have been coming um, nonstop. Arizona dispensaries have had lines out their doors as people rush to buy different weed products. Koi Maddox is the sales floor lead at SWC Tempe and says sales have tripled just over the weekend. But the behind the scenes production has been extremely involved. With flour, edibles, uh, things in that nature, we go through a rigorous amount of testing. Their parent company, Columbia Care, has dispensaries in Tempe and Prescott and is one of the largest cannabis cultivation companies in Arizona. Anytime this sort of disruption happens to the demand, you know, everybody's got to figure out how to pivot to take care of this increase. Regional VP Chris Roz says they've already hired over a dozen new employees, both on the sales side and cultivation side, and anticipate hiring more with the expectation to produce five times more product to keep up with demand, especially since it's not an overnight growing process. From seed to mobs to clones to veg plants to bloom plants to post-harvest, all the way through a really state-of-the-art dry cure process. Roz says there likely will be products out of stock from time to time while they adjust to the new demand they've never seen. But they say they're prepared to keep old and new customers happy. So it is a very tedious and intricate process. These plans that you're seeing behind me will take about four to five weeks to actually get back to this facility, then packaged up and ready to smoke. And they expect to be doing a whole lot more of this as the demand for recreational marijuana only continues to grow. Reporting in Tempe tonight, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.